Smart at MLBShop.com. Authentic on-field caps, tees, hoodies, and more. Get all your postseason gear and wear what the champs wear at the official source, MLBShop.com. Josh Hader came over at the deadline from Milwaukee, has figured it out here down the stretch. No runs over his last 14 games back to the end of the regular season. Yeah, he's almost struck out half the batters he's faced. Seven out of 15 in the postseason. No run runs, one hit. That includes Betts, Turner, and Freeman in the ninth inning of Game 4 on Saturday. That's ball one on Alec Baum, and we say that he figured it out because midseason, Josh Hader lost it, and it was against these Phillies that that began. June 7th, he entered the game against the Phillies with a major league record 40 consecutive scoreless appearance stretch. And Alec Baum, who's at the plate here, and Matt Veerling, who bats third, both homered against him. Beginning with that, Hader gave up 28 runs over the next 21 innings. So the Phillies essentially broke him that day and trying to do the same here. Well, the hardest part when you're facing this guy is to stay off the high fastball. And you see the first seven versus the last 18, and he throws a lot of high fastballs. He's got an invisible slider that they they miss about 55% of the time. you got to make him throw strikes, but it's hard to do that when he throws that hard and you're ready to hit. Ball two on bone. So if I'm the Phillies in this game, even if we don't, if they don't, even if they don't come back, see as many pitches as you can you can against a guy that you're going to see more than likely more than once in this postseason. Segura and Veerling to follow Bohm in this ninth inning. On a two-one pitch, Bohm watches oh! Jarvis outside corner strike two. Will Myers, by the way, into the game defensively at first. Replacing Brandon Drury. Creating the defense over there a touch. 2 2. One gone. 100. I'm just telling you, hard to do. You tell yourself, get the ball down. The fastball off looks so good to hitters, but they can't catch up to this 100 mile an hour. Fastball above the belt. Boom, way late. I mean, it's the old adage, right? Could he throw? With the threat of you swinging, knowing that you would never swing, can a guy throw three strikes before you swing the bat? Now, I know that's not going to happen, but you've got to make him in the strike zone as much as possible if you're going to have any chance. I mean, he's one of the elite arms in our game. And he's like you're talking about so hard to pick up. So no matter what the fastball velocity is, it's tough. You combine it with the stuff that breaks. And now he's throwing harder than ever. Prior to this postseason, he had never touched 100. That's the seventh pitch that he's thrown at 100 miles per hour or above in this postseason. His 0 2 pitch. Oh, triple digits again. Josh Hader better than ever. Two gone in the ninth. I don't know if he called it on the swing or the, the pitch. It looked like he called it obviously on the pitch. They waited around for a while for something to really get excited about in these two games. After they were shut out yesterday, found an early hole today. Strike one on Matt Veerling. Those back-to-back -back home runs woke them all up, woke the Padres up. Drury and Bell in the second inning started a stretch of eight straight runs the Padres win. Yeah, gave them hope, right? Down 4 nothing against a really good pitcher who hadn't given up a run in forever. And Kind of shock to the system. You're only down two, and Blake Snell did the rest. Kept it right there. And then the fifth inning. Oh, fifth inning. A five spot in the fifth inning. Usually turns out well for a club. Haters 0 1. Strike two. This man is a problem.
Yeah, a lot of sore shoulders for the fans. <laughs> and those Dang babies it. whip it. <laughs> they got a day to rest them. That's they true. They got a few before right. the series comes back around. Josh Hader trying to strike out the side. In game two, one ball, two strikes. Red towels waving at the bank on Friday. Hater fires one two. Pop up. Myers. Off his glove. Right off the end of his glove. Great stretch over there to make it close. Mm. What a way that would have been to finish this one off. They would have thought that he caught it. Says, all right. And eh, let me try and strike out the side. Yeah, I prefer that anyways. Another one two pitch. This series is tied in a game of peace. Phillies take game one two nothing. The Padres bounce back in ridiculous fashion.